Hi people, I did it. I finally <laughs> got some good puzzles with the two tanks I was trying to repeal. I had to play like mm, let me see today I played ten battles but five out of that ten were pretty good battles. We I lost in five or I, I maybe haven't lost in five but if I done I didn't do anything it's like it doesn't co count. So this was the first one. As I said, these two tanks have very good stats. The Samoa has a, has five rounds on his load, and it shoots uh, between every his intraclip reload is of two point twenty five seconds. Dealing up to one thousand five hundred damage, and with a good, pretty good armor. And this one is a monster with a lot of frontal armor and not so bad. No, uh, not so bad one with 10 seconds reload. In this battle, you will see why I'm telling you it's a good tank. The only thing that it doesn't always bounce, it doesn't bounce. It's TDs, the tank destroyer, tiny. <laughs> Fun for me because every time I see TD, it sounds like what I think. I was looking for the the armor penetration of the scorpion. Enemy armor is I saw it. I'm going to fast forward because I want to show you that this tank has a very good front armor, even the defender gold around couldn't pen it. I was trying to spot for my team. Okay. Make something good of uh, spotting, but I left my low way alone and I had to go him. You are too you don't, you don't left your teammate alone. It's dumb because they might end up killing him and they will kill you there after that. Let's see. One bounce. Two bounce. Penetration. Go round. Both of them were gold rounds, and I bounced both of them. And that place here is the weak spot of the tank. But as you can see, another, another gold round fishing for the scorpion. He doesn't shoot me anymore because he knows. He knows it's not of use. Another goal round. A goal round for Scorpion. Not penetration. The wicked spot of a tank in front. I should have bugged it up, but I didn't. He should need here. So he broke my, my 
drugs and penetrated my front armor. all around. This tank is amazing. 4,000 damage bombs. That was a freaking mistake. This game we lose it because we are up to the same amount of time, but we are low on HP. Every one of us is low on HP, so... I left the Skudak with all its life. I don't know why he couldn't kill the defender. I came here to help the FP. Like, this tank is so... Tall, I can use it in my advantage to take care of tanks with lower. Southern 800 penetration, they damage bombs, and to my right duck, killed by defender. But as you can see, I did my life on damage and I bounce three times my life, or almost three times my life with this tank against gold rounds. So you can see this tank is pretty good. Well, we lost, we lost this battle because, you know, but it was, it was a good battle, not 15-2, so the next battle, the next battle, we won it, but it wasn't as great as this, but my teammates could trust and that I have I had a good tank to support them to be there and take the damage because heavy tanks are made for pushing but medium tanks and T tank destroyers are made for helping not just stay at the back of the game and not doing shit. I would like to have a better replay and mechanic, but it is what it is. This is fun because I was looking for my my comment paste it and be able to, to tell people that I have a channel and I didn't look forward and I must do myself upside down. I was looking for this. Oh nice, let's push it. I tried the fast shot, but now I have the loop penetrated and got shot by the AMX 50 with a golden round to my turret. I tracked the Centurion and my team. Penetrating once. 
push it forward to make him think that I am not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. I thought the that building could be taken off by shots, but it doesn't. It's unrestructable and the centurion <laughs> got owned by my teammates. I thought I was well, I was I was being too precautions and that we wouldn't buy we wouldn't win if we didn't push so I risk it a little bit. Not now now but I would push to make something of this. Or elk push it and I think I got in front of my teammate, but because of that, the tries that couldn't shoot us. I don't know how. I don't know how. My shoot didn't penetrate him. Why the shoot? That's bullshit. Why? It's almost, and it wasn't. It's turret. Let's see again. Took its turret. It was aiming here, and it, the shot get, went here. Doesn't matter. It gets killed anyway. One. Two. This tank is awesome, I have it but it's so hard to play against higher, 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 higher tiers and it usually doesn't bounce as this one and this, uh, this button. I said, let's push, can I push? Can't keep waiting, I know I haven't play with all my my I said the word my god I made the S3 my god It's like when you're in a, in a normal exam, you have to speak with the professor or the teacher and you can 
you can say shit you are stuck in the, uh, in the idea but the words won't come out you are petrified I don't know why I can speak I can talk I end up not doing anything more maybe spotting or and I hate when enemies surround their tanks so enemies and friendly surround it again. I had fun with the last HP of the IMX. No, not the IMX, I thought it was an IMX, it was an elk. So I kill it twice. For fun. I love to do this every time a teammate or an enemy drown their tank. Teammate I can't, but the enemy is it's fun. And so we went to play with the Samoa. I don't know why it's it's hard that these days to speak. I I getting stuck. I'm not being able to speak. I I what with words. Maybe I have have anxiety. <laughs> feeling of something in your chest that doesn't let you speak or think. In this battle I shot many times and couldn't do a freaking thing but And I end up dealing a lot of damage. I miss a lot of shots. And I had a very bad time with the Black Panther. Black Panther. Prince. Black Prince. The only bad thing of this tank is that it takes 35 seconds to reload. I knew that the weak spot of this tank was to hit size, but I had to go look it up on what GG because I, I couldn't understand why my shots didn't penetrate his storage and it's not like the Churchill 7 it's uh, that this is what we went to look up for the, the penetration spots on the tank. Just in time to get back and shoot for the first time. His weak spot is on turret at the side. chunks out of my teammate and, uh, and you can't lose your teammates if you lose your teammates to die so I, I went in front of him to take the shots for him and thank him for, for killing the Ati Ati
sweet spot is there. All this side is a weak spot. Here too, because the pipe visor of the commander is there. And all this is weak spot. But I was trying to aim for the, the one I, I looked up on, on good GG. I was trying to get the shoots on this. And for some reason they all bounce and it's like it's green. <laughs> Why didn't I penetrate him? You will see. Aim. Bounce. Ah no, penetration. Bones. Maybe it was. I don't know. He was like this. Yes, he was like this. Hmm. It was pretty hard to penetrate. I should have aimed for the lower part of the tank. Even like this, I could have bent this part. This part. But for you to know. The weak spot of the Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Pines is here and here. You will have a bad time trying to aim for turret, not like the its predecessor, the Churchill Seven and Churchill Six. Well, I shot my last two shots to lower and. I end up dying. And he, this was another lost. As you can see, 215. Nice. Many battles, but I end up with 2700 penetration damage and 1000 and Almost 200 uh, pounds. To the next button. It's good to have one GC on the Explorer or the Chrome because. I don't use gold rounds. I really don't use them. I have them when I get so damn mad against one enemy that I I want to kill him. And but I don't use them if I don't. It's like it's not really needed. Like really, like it's something of winner or losing the battle. <laughs> it's 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 my free day at work and it's eight in the morning so in this battle I going for the sniping position and I thought I try to shoot the KPC KP I don't know how to say Zeta <laughs> in on English I can remember but you understand the one that was in front of me wasn't a good place to be and they went here in the rocks in the newest update they might end up they will take this away so 
we are changing this giving a, a big us <laughs> mountain or, or rock here these bushes will disappear like they does that pushes too this place will have a mid section where you can hide after pushing because this is something I have to congratulate Wargaming for because they love this kind of mid west uh, battles where you are one side against another side and you don't move, you just shoot 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 until someone dies <laughs> and now that they will put that middle pass here so many chances of pushing will appear and, and they will lose the places to safely shoot at you and it will make the game a lot more funnier for me at least I was waiting for the WB7 the WISA I think it's called to appear there and he didn't disappoint me made, made 600 penetration damage and while I was waiting for a reload I thought maybe I should push Maybe if I push, I will die, but if I don't, we, w we might win the game. I tried to have the 26, but it was a bad idea, you couldn't help it at all, and I would, I would end up make them kill him, so I changed my position try to push usually it's a good idea to reload the charge so you have at least all your damage to push I didn't want to get in front of the T-24 but This is when the game gets fun. Let's wait for the reload. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Push. People like will get better at reviewing the place. And boys like, oh, where is the barrel stick? Oh, there, is, there he is. I was like, oh! And then I shoot the CC and put it on fire and give it a grass plus key and don't shoot this one. And in nothing, I made 1500 damage with a fire. I thought the Renegade was going to come for this side and around, so I was afraid. But when I saw it was going for the CC, I pushed it. And as I thought, he ended up coming for me. And thanks to the RNG this time. He didn't deal up to 401 or set me on fire. I had to uh, a look it. I was looking at the box in my frontal plate. And end up with 
3100 damage. I won't be getting any more damage yet. It was not a fair game for the enemy, but at least it wasn't 15 2. And for the last one, it's a battle that was not so great. I decided to post this because when you trust in your team and your team helps you, it's, it's something good. Even if you lose, if you have a good teammate and it pushes with you, that's all this game is about, playing with your friends or with your teammates and making Interested moves, interesting moves, like surprising the enemy. They usually don't push this side of the map, they usually stay there like an eternity. Let's see this replay again. I love to do this, it's, it's dumb, I know, but. Look at him go. Whee! <laughs> but let's keep it up. I was going with the Caliban and with the ME and the support of the IS. <sighs> oh my god! And I took. Mates. <laughs> I can't believe I'm so sleepy with Mates on me. I saw that we were going to push. He gave a good shot, but over there was the ISU, the RHM, and the SHPTK TVP. TVP was all the way there. The ISU was there, and the RHM was over there. So is we try to push like this, making move up, move down, move up, move down, they will end up killing us because ISU has 750 damage, RHM had the same amount of damage and TVP could track us down and with 270 non-premium rounds and like 200 or 300 penetration premium rounds we would be just food for him. So I decided to talk to it with my teammates and I gave them an idea. I knew we couldn't make it, so I changed my perspective. I speak with them to make them know I had an idea. to communicate with them. He started telling me the ISU was there, so you have to read chat too. You can't play without chat. And I said, I will take it. Because I don't have good damage per minute, but I have good armor good life, more than them at least. And they push. It was a nice below from the ISU and I bounced to three shots from the enemy. I stuck the, the Bisonte so he couldn't shoot my allies and I struck its frontal turret. The SPTK 
to meet me, my friend here, the Emil, and he managed to penetrate my side arm there because I wasn't angling it right. But we we kill two and we take the position. So we advance. I had the low of bouncing damage. It has it was a, not the 700 damage gun. It was the 500 damage. It has I think better aiming and better penetration. Well, we took the advance. We I think we didn't win, but I I thought my as I said to my teammates it was sure they will push from here. It's like this side has a very good defending spot and that side doesn't have the same. It's it not it's not fair to this game but, but I told it I'm <laughs> bad for worse today and yesterday too but this was my review of the Samoa and of the mutant they are both great tanks I I'm happy with them happy with the damage uh, of the Samoa, you can take chunks out of the enemy and for a tier 8 when the enemy has up to 1600 uh, HP it's like you might end up killing one tank if you aim and take your mm -hmm. time at it because not many tanks have the chance to kill you but if you you may if you play wisely you can kill one of them and even that the tank is not so light it has some weight on it so you can use it at your advantage ramming the enemy it's not like you're going to do 300 but at least 150 it's something you can get up to and well with the the M6 with the M6 you have a good chance of bouncing, bouncing many shots I don't know how I bounce so many shots of the Defender M6, M6, M6 where is the Defender object? Two of two defender. Its penetration, it's pretty good. I don't know how they bounce it. It's so badly. It's like it's it's a good. Uh, good armor. You should have aim for my weak spots at the sides because frontal it it was pretty impossible to penetrate. It, it has two hundred and twenty five. Look at this beast fighting two hundred and twenty five and twenty five penetration like nothing. I'm in love with this tank, like I was, and I am with the KB5. These tanks are something you must have. These are this, this, right? You know, KB5, KB, KB5, the to fight to you and there was another one that has a very good armor but this is not a great tank 
nobody uses it but it's it's something look at the IMAX you have this against 232 lot you have, have to know that this is a weak spot and this is a weak spot if you angle it but in front you have this amount of armor it's like the new task but it doesn't have preferential map making and it has better reload but I say tier 10 you are going to fight with tier 10 but two tier 10 tanks if you look you can see that you have better time per minute you have better penetration you have better aiming you have better stop speed you have less frontal armor but but what <laughs> because of one and you have better turret armor you have less hp but better it's it's a better mutant but with no preferential not making and it, it's even heavier than the mutant the next one is this tank that my god i have fight, fight, fought against the t110 a3 and you can see this is a beast against low penetration and against 260 penetration with a gold hold down position you can fight anything almost anything because as i said i fought a t t 110 a3 e3 and you can see in this position i had this all oh, this hole very well protected and i fought him like for around i don't know one minute and a half bouncing his shots he tried to aim for my my weak spot on the turret but all i did was this i can do it with this i did this this was enough to make him bounce until he, <laughs> he saw my <laughs> weak spot here and well and thank god he didn't lo load premium rounds at the moment but my god if you have to aim to load premium rounds against a tier 8 you you need to play another game and this one is good it doesn't have very good armor but sides you get this 225 penetration won't get him on his lower plate or on his hull but you have to see these two weak as shit spots on his turret and with more penetration it's like you can wiggle it but it won't make it so hard for the enemy to penetrate. A toad is a very good tank, and this one is the last one with a gun that has 220 penetration. If it wasn't for this weak spot here, you would have a very good. You would have a very good frontal armor. You can do this, but you still have this, this, and this lower plate here it's like they can shoot you here and here but with more you can't fight them it's like what is the space the three, test 3 it's way better than this one you can see it doesn't have a weak spot here it has a bigger frontal hull, uh, but it's weak stop pot on his turret. It's it's harder to penetrate. And if you can manage to shoot at this place, you should do it because it's pretty weak at his turret. I don't know why. Maybe because this one is 
pretty tough. But well, you see, these are the good tanks, not many people play with them. And if you want to have fun, you will have fun with these tanks. Well, I finally made something better of these tanks and I had fun. And I expect you to subscribe. <laughs> now, if you like it, subscribe and give a like. And if you don't, comment and tell me why don't you like you don't like it because I want to know what you do you think do you think and maybe uh, if you start subscribing I can start paying my English classes because my god if I'm not relaxed I s I'm like I can't speak <laughs> see you soon guys bye